People treat crypto like they treat stocks. You're looking for the perfect investment. You're looking for the right altcoin to bet your money on. And then you simply just keep it running. You keep waiting for the price to go up. You keep waiting for the price to hit its fair value. Because your specific altcoin that you pick should be worth 10x more, 100x more. The same way how your small stock should be appreciating by 10 or 100x. But this is not how I believe you should be approaching crypto. Crypto investing or speculating with crypto is very, very different to speculating with stocks. In the stock market, you've got mainly regulated companies. You've got companies that already went through quite a lot of due diligence. You've got companies that are regulated, that have to disclose their numbers, that get audited all the time. You've got conflicts of interests that are 100% transparent. You know when the management of a company is buying or selling stock, for example. You don't have any of those kinds of protections in crypto. In crypto, things look very, very different. In crypto, you might be buying an asset that then, over the course of one or two years, suddenly 100 access in supply. So you might start off with just 1% of the entire supply that maybe gets airdropped to a few early adopters. And then over time, more and more tokens get sold off, maybe for the benefit of the team, maybe for the benefit of early VC capital. There's all kinds of funny structures that can then in the end depress the price. Right? Because if you buy when only 1% of the supply is circulating and then the supply grows that quickly, the demand has to grow as quickly just for the price to stay stable. So if the supply grows faster, then the demand, then of course the price has to come down. Even though more capital might now be locked up in this crypto project, if the capital growth isn't fast enough because the tokenomics were not ideal, then you lose money. And so the problem with the vast, vast majority of altcoins is that in the end, because of those misaligned incentives, they tend to underperform Bitcoin. So it's not necessarily that those projects don't grow. It's not necessarily that those projects have bad technology. They simply just have so poorly written tokenomics or so poorly designed tokenomics that benefit all the early investors so much that the public in the end ends up losing in the vast majority of time. And so the problem is that in the stock market, where you've got all this regulation, you can actually afford to diversify. The very best investors don't diversify too much. They still have very strong positions in individual assets and individual values. But in the crypto market, you have to actually be very concentrated. You don't have the luxury to be too diversified. Again, because the vast, vast majority underperforms. Now, there is a small subfraction of altcoins that tend to outperform Bitcoin even over somewhat longer time frames, as in several months, maybe one or two years. But that's absolutely the smallest minority. What mainly happens is that you see some altcoins, maybe 30-40%, to outperform Bitcoin massively during short periods of time. Those kinds of outperformances happen because of attention shifts. So there aren't just the investors in crypto, there are the active speculators, right? The traders. And they look at what's currently the narrative of the day. They look at where is currently the attention shifting to. And if the attention is currently on, say, AI coins, or it's currently on DPIN, or it's currently on crypto gaming, then those kind of investors get into those coins and they try to be earlier than others. And so during those specific points in time, even though the tokenomics of a specific altcoin might not be that great, the price can still temporarily outperform. Until then, at some point in time, the attention moves to the next thing, right? So then maybe afterwards, it's meme coin trading on Solana. And then maybe afterwards, it's DeFi trading on the base chain. And then maybe afterwards, it's the blast chain that sees all of the growth. Here's the problem with crypto YouTube. People promoting becoming degen or buying 100x coins. That's what gives clicks, but that's not what's going to bring you forward.
I refuse to take money from centralized exchanges. I refuse to take money from crypto projects. I refuse to pump and dump a coin and filling up my pockets in the background. I don't do any of this. Instead, I share my knowledge in the form of tutorials in the premium membership. So that's content that won't do well on YouTube, but that builds up skill over time. You can also directly contact me over there. You can directly pick my brain. Feel free to check it out. The Bitcoinstrade.com is the link. So there are people that simply just look at the data. They try to be early. They try to write those attention waves. And I personally believe this is actually the safer way to make money with altcoins. Because this is what I normally get from a lot of people here also in this community. I get the question, what should be the altcoins to invest in for this bull run to maybe hold for the next one or two years? So the general thesis is simply that the altcoins have inherent leverage, that they go up more and down more. And when there's a bull market, you should be holding mainly altcoins. When there's a bear market, you should be holding mainly cash. And so there's actually no real need to be Bitcoin at all because Bitcoin in general, during bull markets doesn't seem to outperform. So that's the thinking behind this. But I don't actually think that that's the right way to go about this. Because at the beginning of a bull run, altcoin A might be the one that does all the returns. And then at the later stage of the bull run, it might be altcoin B and then altcoin C. So there is a rotation happening within the altcoin market. And at the beginning, what is somewhat risk off, maybe something like, Solana, just the SOL token, might be already pretty good in terms of risk to reward. But then later on, as Solana has already risen that much and it's at all-time highs relative to Ethereum, then maybe the risk to reward isn't that great anymore for the solid larger altcoins. Right? Then people look for the next thing. Then people look for the altcoins with smaller market cap. Well, then they look for the next meme coin to trade. Right? So there is some kind of effect happening that risk tolerance tends to increase as the bull market continues. At the beginning, people mainly buy into Bitcoin, Bitcoin dominance goes up, then the Bitcoin upside potential isn't that high anymore. It already went from, say, 16k to 70k. And then the big question is, where is the next gains to be made? And when it's not in Bitcoin anymore, then it's maybe in Solana. When it's not in Solana anymore, it's maybe in the meme coins. When it's not even in the meme coins anymore, then maybe we are already at the later stage of a bull run. So don't really think about it in the same manner as you think about stock investing. When you're investing in a stock, you might simply just base your decisions on what the fair value of an asset is. And you might think, okay, Tesla, for example, might be cheap now because there is maybe a temporary dip in demand for EVs, but I believe that it will all recover. And so I buy this. And I simply just write this fundamentally. I believe in the story fundamentally. Don't think for crypto in these kinds of dimensions. Because normally, over the long term, the tokenomics will catch up with you. And you can't hold the altcoin for three or four or five years. Because early investors will make all the money. Early supporters, VCs, the team, they will make all the money. There's all this token inflation. So instead, think about this simply just where is the attention currently headed? Where am I still early? If currently everybody is talking about Solana and it already went up that much, maybe I don't want to get into Solana anymore. Maybe I want to think about what are people jumping on next? Where has the rally not yet started? Or where is it just starting to pick up? Where are we still early? So think about this in terms of attention. Thus, also don't think about having a broadly diversified portfolio of 20, 30 different altcoins because you're unlikely going to outperform the market having so many different altcoins. It's better to focus just on maybe three or four altcoins where you currently see a lot of attention is headed and then try to ride those waves. And as the market cap grows very, very large and is maybe already large compared to other comparables, maybe you bought, say, the underdog meme coin. Now the meme coin rose to similar levels to where other meme coins are currently being traded in terms of market cap. Maybe then you should be exiting and maybe then you should be thinking about the next potential opportunity. So it's not a game necessarily as with the stock market to find the thing with the fair value. It's a game of finding where the attention is headed. It's a game of being early where the attention will be focused on maybe in a week or two and then exit 
once everybody gets hyped about something. It's a very, very different approach. Now, I personally like this attention game because it is relatively inefficient, as in, if you know your data, if you know what are other influencers buying, then you can buy with them. If you know what typically other good traders are buying, you buy with them, then you can be early. You can copy trade way better in crypto than say in the traditional finance ecosystem because all of the data is public, right? It's a public blockchain. So we are tracking all kinds of influencer wallets in the premium membership. We are tracking all kinds of smart traders in the premium membership. We've got our Telegram bots that send us messages whenever those kinds of trades are being made. And we are early with this. But we are simply just riding the attention. We're not trying to find out what's the best fundamentally solid meme coin because there is no such thing. We're simply just trying to be early to the attention wave. And this is, I believe, the better way to approach this. Don't start getting married to an altcoin that might be out of fashion in a month or two. It's way better to simply just get the alpha from being earlier than others. And in that way, crypto trading is very, very much different to stock trading or to any other fundamentally based trading, right? If you are buying a house, you're not necessarily doing this because there's a lot of attention on this part of town. You're buying this because you fundamentally think it's a good deal. It's cheap relative to, for example, the rental income and maybe relative to the cost you have to put in for maintenance, etc. You're buying this because of fundamental reasons. Crypto works very different. In crypto, your fundamental thesis is that others will come after you. It's a player versus player game. You simply have to be better equipped than the rest. You have to have the better data than others. You have to have the better community compared to others. You have to have more skill. And as you have more skill, then of course, over time, that skill will also materialize into alpha if you know when to take profit properly. So if it's the first time here, feel free to subscribe. I publish videos regularly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. It helps the channel grow. See you next time. Cheers.